In global footy, if you are running with the ball, you have to bounce it every 10 metres. But firstly, you might like to start practising this kneeling to reduce the distance. Hold the ball slightly on its top using your bouncing hand. Push rather than throw the ball down towards the ground out in front of you from about waist height. Aim to have the ball bounce off its underside just behind its far point. It should be hitting the ground at an angle. Experiment until you find the correct angle for you. Your controlling hand should hinge at the wrist as you push the ball down. Your arms straightened and your fingers pointing to the ground as you release the ball. Done correctly, the ball will bounce straight back to you as you continue to move forward. To prepare for that, have your arms and hands out in front and wide open, ready for the ball to return. You can do everything right, and the ball can still take a strange bounce from time to time. So keep your eyes on the ball at all times. You can practice bouncing the ball walking, but as you become more comfortable, you should be looking to increase your speed. You may be tempted, as you get faster and faster, to th obviously a slippery ground will make it difficult for the ball to come back. So there is a different skill you need to practice for such occasions. Instead of bouncing the ball on wet days, as you are running, Simply hold the ball in both hands and before you have run your 10 metres, crouch down and touch the ball on the ground to your side in the space between your feet.